In her interview in the year 1957 with Father Fuyens, Sister Lucia spoke about a decisive battle between the Blessed Virgin and the Devil. Father, the Devil is in the mood for engaging in a decisive battle against the Blessed Virgin, and the Devil knows what it is that most offends God and which in a short space of time will gain for him the greatest number of souls. Thus the devil does everything to overcome souls consecrated to God because in this way the devil will succeed in leaving the souls of the faithful abandoned by their leaders thereby the more easily will he seize them Father the most holy virgin did not tell me that we are in the last times of the world but she made me understand this for three reasons The first reason is because she told me that the devil is in the mood for engaging in a decisive battle against the virgin and a decisive battle is the final battle where one side will be victorious and the other side will suffer defeat hence from now on we must choose sides either we are for god or we are for the devil there is no other possibility the second reason is because she said to my cousins as well as to myself that god is giving two last remedies to the world They are the Holy Rosary and devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. These are the last two remedies which signifies that there will be no others. The third reason is because in the plans of divine providence God always before he is about to chastise the world exhausts all other remedies. Now when he sees that the world pays no attention whatsoever then as we say in our imperfect manner of speaking He offers us with a certain trepidation the last means of salvation his most holy mother it is with a certain trepidation because if you despise and reject this ultimate means we will not have any more forgiveness from heaven because we will have committed a sin which the gospel calls the sin against the holy ghost this sin consists of openly rejecting with full knowledge and consent the salvation which he offers The two means for saving the world are prayer and sacrifice. Look, Father, the most holy virgin in these last times in which we live has given a new efficacy to the recitation of the rosary to such an extent that there is no problem no matter how difficult it is whether temporal or above all spiritual in the personal life of each one of us of our families of the families of the world or of the religious communities or even of the life of peoples and nations. that cannot be solved by the rosary there is no problem i tell you no matter how difficult it is that we cannot resolve by the prayer of the holy rosary with the holy rosary we will sanctify ourselves we will console our lord and obtain the salvation of many souls finally devotion to the immaculate heart of mary our most holy mother consists in considering her as the seat of mercy of goodness and of pardon and as the short door of entering heaven